This is the great legend, and I am coming at you live with a special package video from none other than the Mr. Fix It Smash. Now, some of you old school comic book community members may remember a time when the Mr. Fix It Smash was on the scene here in the community. This guy. He has the most statues out of anyone I've ever known. And I know there may be more out there, but me personally, I've never known anyone else to have more statues than the Mr. Fix-It Smash. Not only does he have that, he is the master assembler of some pretty exquisite Lego memorabilia. Lego... Uh, all kind of cool Lego sets. This guy is a huge Cap and Hulk fan. And he is one of my best friends in the whole wide world. A.K.A. Ben. A.K.A. the Mr. Fix It Smash. And I've got good reason to believe that soon, fans, very soon, we will see the return of the Mr. Fix It Smash. He may go by another name. He may go by the same name he had, but there's one thing that I could say about any name this man has ever taken upon himself. He is the beast from Atlanta. Atlanta. Not Atlantis. Atlanta. Yeah, that's right. So my good buddy Ben, a.k.a. the Mr. Fix that Smash has sent me a package, and... We are going to find out what is in this package. I have no clue what's in here. I don't know. Ben has got to be one of the most generous. This box is pretty big. That's why I'm kind of like leaned away. It's a pretty nice box. Nice size. Ben is one of the gener most generous people I've ever met. Just a great guy. A lovable guy, um, a guy that will give the shirt off his back to help somebody. You know, you give this guy a call. Um, I can pretty much say, like, if I needed Ben to come to my house or come to Texas for something, he really would. It'd have to be some serious stuff. I couldn't say, hey, my stomach hurts. Will you come to Texas? <laughs> you know, but like if I was in trouble or if I needed him for something, he'd definitely be here. That's just the kind of friend he is. And I, I can't say that about many people I've met. Um, not only in YouTube, but hell, and just <laughs> just normal people I've met. All the, you know, I, I can count on Ben is what I'm trying to say, fans. And since Ben sent me this awesome package, I'm going to show... One of J.C. Sagey's favorite ways to open up a package. Now, J.C. is a big Winchester fan. There's my Winchester pocket. I, I love Winchester. I love the brand. I love the guns they used to have. I bet they still may have them, but I don't do guns, so I wouldn't know. But I love Winchester because it reminds me of the old West. And I love Western comic books and things of that nature. So we're going to find out what the Mr. Figs of Smash, our good friend Ben, what he sent the legend here. Like I said, he's one of the most generous people I've ever met. Um, he pretty much completed my FF Volume 1 run for me. And when I, find, when I show my uh, Fantastic Four Complete Collection... Definitely going to give kudos to Ben when I hit some of those uh, variants and uh, some of my FF issues since he's the one that pretty much uh, got those for me. He hooked me up. So we got package here. It's double boxed, it looks like, or it's double flap. Very great packaging. I see peanuts in there. It's always good to have some peanuts. And then what I'll do is uh, I usually save the peanuts. And then I'll send CGC books or uh, big items with these packing peanuts. All right, let's open it up. 
Nicely packaged. Got some good peanuts in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh man. Ben, you shouldn't have. Holy crap. This is let me just tell you, I'm gonna take out some peanuts here. I don't want to get them all over the place. But this fans. This is a package I'm never gonna forget. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. You got kings out there. There's plenty of kings. That there's only one, Mr. Fix a Smash. And he is the beast from Atlanta. You know, out there in the comic book community, there's only one Hans, Captain Strange. There's only one Hippie, Hippie's Collectibles, a.k.a. Tom. There's only one Howler, a.k.a. Tim. There's only one Costin Bromstar. There's only one Duck Rank. And by God, there's only one Gimpy 204. There's only one Reader 1717. There's only one A Comic Book Mom. There's only a one... Well, you get the picture. But Ben is awesome. Often duplicated, but never can he be replicated. Holy crap. This is so damn cool. I see what it is, and I... Freaking love it. <laughs> Alright, it has a lot of bubble wrap on it. So let me just tell you, out of everything I've ever gotten from uh, Mr. Fix the Smash, Ben, one of the best shippers of all time, and, and how you become one of the best shippers of all time, you go to the source. I think that's UPS. <laughs> Alright, so it's all bubble wrapped. Nice, very nice. Oh, oh. You see that little red? You see that lightning bolt? That ain't no flash. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's open this up. Now keep in mind, I tell you this a lot. I don't do a lot of unboxings. So bear with me while I unwrap this thing. Like I said, I get packages all the time, but I'm not the fastest unboxer, if you know what I mean. Recently, I've gotten about... Um, six, seven... Eight. I got about eight or nine packages alone this week, but like I said, I don't do a lot of unboxings because I'm not a real pro at the, the unboxings. And if you want like a crap ton of unboxings, you ought to check out some other channels. But all I got to show you is this right here. This is so damn awesome. Okay. Look at this limited edition. It, oh my God. I, <laughs> exclusive. And I know you've heard of some of these people. I want you to check this out. Heroes of the DC Universe. Look at this. Heroes of the DC Universe. Look at this guy. You know who that is. You know who he is. You know who I am. You know who he is. Some call him Billy. Billy Batson. Some call him Gary Frank. Just kidding. That is the original art by Gary Frank. After Gary Frank put that art out, then the sculptor, which is Gene St. Jean, Gene St. Jean, that's kind of good. I guess the parent was like lazy. Ah, oh, we'll just we'll just name the kid Gene because his last name's Saint Jean. So yeah, yeah, fella. But anyway, look how beautiful this thing looks. Heroes of the DC Universe. They have some other ones. Heroes of the DC Universe Series One. They've got a um, you can barely see it, but they got a Green Lantern, a Batman, a Superman. I think that's you know Dark Side, Green Arrow. The Green Arrow one looks pretty sweet, and Aquaman. And then they have Series 2, also designed by Gary Frank. They have The Flash. And then the, for coming soon, they have a really cool-looking uh, Joker and a pretty cool uh, Bizarro one as well. It says Collect Them All. This is actually really cool. This is my first uh, bust 
statue and Ben knows that I'm such a huge Captain Marvel slash Shazam fan that I have to have some Shazam in my life. And this is my first bust I've ever owned. So Ben, oh my god, dude. Thank you so much, man, for hooking me up. You didn't have to do this, but the thing is, you're... You're just so giving, you know, like so nice. I mean, like, like I said, you, you know, I could call him and his ass would be driving down here flying here. You know what I'm saying? We plan on going to a place called here. Well, maybe I won't tell you too much because if, if, if this thing happens, you're just going to be shitting yourself. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and open this bad up because I'm going to go ahead and display him for the time being. Eh, I got a thing over there. I don't really want to display him with old Ben Grimm's ugly ass. I may put him up here for right now until I get my bookshelf or my... Uh, my plan is I'm going to get one bookshelf right behind me. Have my bookshelf. Kind of measure it, look at it, feel, get a feel for it. And then I'll either get another bookshelf. So I have two bookshelves. So I can put my hardcovers and stuff and my statues. Or I'm going to have my one bookshelf right behind me in the middle. And I'm going to flank it with a detolf over here and a detolf over here. And if you don't know detolf, um, there are these nice display cases. All right. I will, ooh. Damn. They got Women of the DC Universe Series 2 Shazam Mary Bust. Like Mary Marvel. Dude, this is awesome, Ben. Dude, you're the man. You're the beast from Alana. Okay. Open it up. Really nice box and everything. I mean, nice and sturdy box. Some of my statue boxes, like, I don't, I ain't going to disrespect, but some of them statue boxes from Bowen kind of suck. They're kind of thin. This is a good look, good box. Okay. Oh, my God. He's beautiful. Oh, man, he feels kind of heavy, too, like, uh. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's some kind of like... Holy crap! -a! It's fucking numbered and everything! Ho -ho! Shit! Well, fuck, I guess all of them, all statues are usually numbered. Ooh, that cape. Good God almighty, this thing. I wish my uh, webcam was a lot better. I will be showing this again. I'm going to be doing a Shazam... Um, I've had one guy request it, and um, I've been wanting to do my Shazam series for a while. It's just going to be a video about all my Shazam stuff. But good God. This is a DC Direct. The paint job is so, oh my God, even underneath. It is so amazing. The detail. Quality. What a beautiful statue. This feels good. feels smooth. The belt statue is beautiful look at that that's a bust that's a bust look at him that's Shazam he's busting through it looks like he's busting through the rock of eternity the very top of the rock of eternity he's coming out of the rock of eternity imagine um, this behind him like dark and lightning and clouds and the rock of eternity and if you look really close you see those those are the seven deadly sins we have selfishness laziness injustice pride envy greed and hatred wow that sounds like someone I know on YouTube <laughs> yeah fella yeah yeah fella this one bust is way better than all your busts and your curio. Anyway, so yeah, fella. Good ass. Good looking statue. Oh, yeah, the numbers and shit. Oh, produced by DC Rect in 2010. I never knew they had this. I've, they have a bust out um, that is a New 52 Shazam bust, but I never did really like it just because... It just isn't, I, when I think of Shazam, I think of this guy. This guy right here. No hood on him. Although I do, I, I like the New 52. But like as far as statues and stuff go, 
I prefer no hood on my uh, Shazam. Look at that. Give you that full rotation. I love that lightning bolt, and I'm I'm so pumped. Look at the detail in the cape. I am so pumped up for the movie um, that's coming out where Rock is going to play Black Adam. If they ever do release a Black Adam bust, I'm going to get that one out. I'll put both of them together, kind of side by side or kind of like against each other. It's beautiful. Shazam, baby. Um, by um, Gene St. Gene sculpted um, from the art of Gary Frank, who does an amazing job on uh, Captain Marvel slash Shazam here. Man, this is so nice, man. It's so smooth. I don't know what these are made out of. I guess they're like stone or something. Anyways, um, here it says on the bottom, Heroes of the DC Universe Series 2, Shazam Bust, and it's 0131 of 2000, so it's 131 of 2000. Really low numbering. Just think, out of the 2000 of these that were created, I've got number 131. And to think about that, that's just kind of cool, you know, to have something like numbered like this because this is exclusive. This is limited edition. And this is going to go real well with all my other Shazam stuff. So if I do get a Detolf, I've got some plans for a shelf in there um, that's going to have nothing but... Um, I don't have very many Shazam statues. I have this one, and I have two Kotobukiya ones, Black Adam and Shazam. But this bad boy is going to be the focal point of that shelf. And then I may put um, my first appearance of this guy behind it. A lot of you don't know, but I, I, I collect a lot of... Um, I'm going to lay this guy down real quick. I collect a lot of key issues. And wow, this is so cool. I just love it. It's standing in everything. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a great looking statue. Very sweet, man. God, I just can't keep looking at it. And that, that, me and Ben have talked about this countless times. Like when you get a new statue, you just can't you just can't quit looking at it. So like I'm he's right here. And I'm just looking at his ass. I love him. He looks so good. So good looking. I love me some Billy Batson. And I love this bust here. I'm going to show it to you again in a minute. But um, he is a, Ben is a kind of a master collector of statues. I mean, he has so many of them. He knows what to look for in statues. He knows, he knows the good statues from the shitty statues. He knows the good companies from the shitty companies. And Anytime I have questions about anything statue related, whether it be displaying statues or whether it be um, buying statues, prices, um, even with comics, um, I he'll show me something that his shop has just gotten in. He'll ask me, hey, Rob, do you have this Fantastic Four variant? And I'll go to my collectors, which is a software you can download to your uh, Windows or Mac computer. And you can also download the app to your iPhone or Android so you can carry your collection with you on whatever device you have. iPad, Androids, uh, phones, things of that nature. So I check it out. I say, yeah, Ben, I don't have that variant. And Ben, I'll say, yeah, man, I don't have that one. And Ben, like the next thing he types to me when we text, he's like, well, it's yours now. And that's all he says. He just said, it's yours and by him doing that, there's no greater, I mean, I don't think there's a lot of, like, more greater things than a comeback from, or a reply, if you will. I know I'm kind of rambling. I probably don't even fucking make any sense. But what I'm trying to say is, he sends me that picture. He says, Rob, you have this. So one thing, you got that one thing that he's thinking about me out of all the shit and the things that go on in this man's life. He's married. He's got a big business, family business. He, he helps run and everything. Um, and I shouldn't even be really telling you about his personal info like that. So sorry about that, Ben. <laughs> but I mean, this guy's busy. He's got a lot on his plate. And he takes the time out of his schedule to text me, which kind of, that shit's just as, you know, busy than a phone call. And 
I'll reply back to him. I'll say, yeah, man, I don't have that one. That looks really cool. And then the next thing he says right under that, he said, well, it's yours. And that's it. And then, <laughs> and how do you respond to something like that? You know, it's really hard. So I'm like, hey, fellas. See this knife? Hey, fellas. You better get out of here. We're going to have some knife fun. No, stop. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, boy. Get out. Now, you know I'm filming a video. Close the door. You know, I, that that's my weekend. Yeah, fella. I'm going to have a lot of fun this weekend. <laughs> okay, better put that away. No one ever uh, do that with your Winchester. If you have one of them Swiss Army knives, go right ahead. Those suck. Winchester, American made. Ain't no Swiss shit. All right, anyway, so what I was saying, man's just a great guy. So I replied back and said, dude, thanks so much, man. You're so kind. And, and he's like, don't mention it, you know. But uh, just such a great guy. And, like, I'm... Um, He's thinking about coming back into the YouTube community, and uh, we'll see if that happens or not. But if it does happen, you're a lot of you a lot of you viewers are going to be really lucky just to get a chance to see Ben's collection, to see all the stuff he collects, and to get his knowledge. You know, like um, a lot of times I talk about um, Hans, Hippie, Howler, Scott, and, and uh, First Family Comics and uh, some other people that have so much knowledge about the books they read and things like that that I learn so much by watching them. And I know a lot of you do too. And I hope you learn something when you watch my videos. But if and when the Mr. Fix It Smash comes back, aka Ben, um, we're going to have a big ass celebration. Because he has been missed by a shitload of people in the YouTube uh, comic book community. So, um, if you want to talk to Ben, or if you would like to leave the Mr. Figure Smash Ben a message, or, um, you know, just check on him, see how he's doing, then, by God, you know, put it in a comment below. Um, he, he'll, he'll see the comments. And um, he'll see about, you know, we'll see about getting back to you. And, and you know, he can he can talk with you and, and tell y'all how he's been doing. But if he does make a comeback, we're going to be so damn lucky. Because we're getting one of the best ever that I've ever met. Not in the comic book community or YouTube, but one of the best people I've ever met in my life in the whole damn world. And for Ben, I truly look at him. And some of my other friends, like Cuse Crusader, who's no longer with us, and uh, Craig and Audrey and Brad and Dustin, Duck Rank and Hans and Hippie and Howler and all these people, they're kind of like fucking family if you think about it. They're they're just like family. They're good, good people, and uh, they'll do anything for you, pretty much. Now, don't go on uh, Hippie's Collectibles channel asking him for copies of. Um, God, I don't even know what the hell it is. Was it Strange Tales? Don't don't ask him for no Strange Tales books, cause he ain't gonna give those to you, you know. But a lot of these people are just so damn generous. They're good people, and uh, just check them all out. So Ben, again, thank you so much. This thing is beautiful. This is a beautiful bust. It's my first bust, by the way. Man, 131 out of like 2,000. That's a low ass. Print run is what we call them in comics. I guess it's a low statue run, but I love how it has these um, center guys on here. You know, I could probably take all seven of these these assholes and um, you know, I've got names for these people. You know, I can give each one of these guys a name, just of shit shit bags that I've met on uh, YouTube. <laughs> But anyway, fan, um, fans, 
for Ben, aka the Mr. Fix It Smash. This is the Great Legend, and this is the Shazam DC Mother Ethos DC Heroes of the DC Universe Shazam Bust. And like I said, for Ben, the Mr. Fix It Smash, one of the most generous guys I've ever met, and one of the most um, I'm I'm so privileged to even know you, Ben. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know I love you. We uh, we're vatos locos. And uh, Tony, Curse of Man, if you're watching, I miss your videos too. And and I, I'm sorry I didn't really give you any love on here, but you know I love you. And uh, Roll Tide. And uh, but this ain't about Roll Tide. This is about Atlanta Bulldogs, Georgia. So fans, I know I'm rambling. And uh, the first woman of comics from the first family of comics. She don't like when I ramble too much. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Look at that face. Don't I just look like a legend? Am I right, Audrey? You know I'm right. Audrey, you know I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, man. Ben, thanks again for this statue. This statue kicks ass. It's the best fucking statue on the internet and it's Shazam. Shazam for life. If you don't have any Shazam comics, go get some because Shazam is better than Superman. He's better than Superman. He's better than that Batman, that whore Batman. He's better than that whore Wolverine. Sorry, Dawkin. He's better than uh, that do-gooder Captain America, Steve Rogers. And uh, he's just the best ever. Best Golden Age hero. Let me tell you all, y'all little kids, I'm going to reiterate this when I come out with my uh, Shazam video. This guy here, he outsold all that other shit in the Golden Age. Captain America outsold him. Batman outsold him. Superman outsold him. And then everyone got, got pissed because he was whipping that ass. But then people started suing and shit like that. And then some dumbass guy with a mustache and some stupid glasses created this bastard Cree named Captain Marvel just to like add more piss on the flame but anyway this is it Shazam baby this is the great legend Sam peace out it's Shazam